Uh, the A's are fresh off the draft, like every other team across the league, and we're going to take a look at the top five picks, maybe try and figure out what their mindset was, what the opportunity was, what they're ultimately getting in this draft, and how many years it might take for these players to pan out. 19, oh, 19th pick overall, Daniel Susak is the catcher from University of Arizona. Henry Bolt was their second selection, 56th pick overall. He's an outfielder from Palo Alto High School. Straight out of high school, Clark Elliott was was their third pick, Colby Thomas, also a third pick, and then Jacob Waters at 124th overall, the first pitcher the A's took out of West Virginia. So let's get into Daniel Susak here first, Pipster. Um, obviously, he's excited to be an athletic catcher from Arizona. This is uh, the one that everybody's got their eyes on. Just looks like a ball player in that photo. <laughs> yeah. But now let's take a look at some video. Let's also get your opinion, your perspective on a couple things. Who he is right now, what he could be in the future. 6'4", a catcher. Has great mobility behind the plate. Great IQ. He's one of those catchers who can hit, but he also understands defense. So they say he can be eventually the face of the franchise wow. and that he's a possible all-star once he makes it to the big leagues. I don't think he's going to be down there very long, uh -huh. even though we have Sean Murphy ahead of him. They're saying this guy is the guy that has the great work ethic, and his teammates will pull that energy from him as well. You also have Shea Langoliers right Shea now. Shea Langoliers AAA. is you have a down couple there. Other, like the, the Soderstrom, the A's are very deep in this catching pipeline situation. So my question is, when you draft him at this point right now, how many years does it take to pan out? And are the A's a little bit log jammed in a good way at the catching position. Yeah, they, they, this is what I'm going by, what I heard from scouts yeah. saying that this guy can be better than all of them. Wow. Because he's more athletic behind the plate. At 6'4", he's very mobile behind the plate. Now, when you start talking about timeline and when can he get here, right. it's just a matter of how he does when he gets into the minor league system because he's probably going to get so many at-bats to show what he can do. But the way things move now, he could be up here sooner than we think. Only a 352 batting average, uh, <laughs> saying that sarcastically in 125 <laughs> games with the University of Arizona. All right, so he's 21 years old, Daniel Susak, and we'll now transition to Henry Bolt, who, as we told you, 18 years old because he's fresh out of Palo Alto High School. Uh, the local kid, gotta like that. What else do we know about another Bolt in the A's organization? No relation to Sky, by the way. Really, I was 18 when I got drafted, uh -huh. and it was basically to go in and develop as a player. Right. And I think that's what we're gonna see right here. Here's a kid who has speed and power and has a great arm in center field. I think what the A's did right here was draft an athlete. Mm -hmm. We were talking about athleticism earlier. This is what they've done in this draft. They started drafting athletes because I think the game is going to go back to those guys who can run, those guys who can throw, and those guys who can hit, those guys who can take the extra base, but also guys who can steal bases and find ways to score runs. 18, though, is yeah. so early in a young person's life and in mm -hmm. their career. At 18, were you the 294 career hitter that you eventually turned out to be? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not a gamble. It's an educated pick that the A's had here, but... There's a lot of development still for any 18-year-old. I don't care how good you are right now. Yeah, and I think as an 18-year-old, you're going to go down to these minor league stadiums. Well, in my day, they were dark stadiums, so you could barely <laughs> see the baseball and you struggle. Bad lighting. Yeah, very bad lighting. <laughs> but, you know, the idea is to go down there and get 500 at-bats, continue yeah. to learn, continue to get better. Brody, I actually made an all-star team every level I went to, yeah. so maybe this kid can do the same. And just overall here, I mean, I think we're, we're talking about players that you could see in the next couple years, but realistically, four, yeah. I say four You've years. already got the number, yeah. Yeah, four years That's my question, more. how many years? Four yeah. to six. Yeah. Because, again, he's only 18. If you give him six years, you're talking about a guy now that could be 24. And 25 has always, in my mind, been that magic number. Because I got there in four years, I had to go back for two. That's and right. Then I came back, That's and right. I was 25 when I got back. You know what else might be four years away? Hmm. Howard Terminal. <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing that in there. All right. <laughs>